Hello everyone, Equipment War here, and welcome to some explosive gameplay commentary. And today I'm going to play as my discharge build. And I just going to have some fun in this strand map. Nothing uh, hard at all with this strand map, just a standard strand map. But I'm going to have some fun and blow things up and uh, just generally have a ton of fun. So let's see how this goes. This is my discharge build and I forgot I had the wrong aura, so let's do that. Ooh, your enemy already coming, and I have some better gear this time than I had last time, but I am still a glass cannon in the most literal sense. I want to kill you. Get over here. And this character is hard to play. It's not easy to play this character because you have so little survivability. But it's actually the most fun character I actually have. Fun to play, but hard as shit to play, and probably will not be able to do high level maps. At least not, at least not with the gear I'm have right now. At least not with the skill tree, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That hurts. I can tell you, elemental damage not that bad, but physical damage it hurts as shit. I have really bad physical protection. And never ever use discharge against something with element reflect. You will instantly kill yourself. Believe me, I have done that way too many times. But uh, probably one of the most damaging builds as well, because I probably, pretty, pretty much one hits everything. And yes, I don't have a real build of this character. In the end of this video, I'm going to go over a little bit how it works more in detail. But it's not gonna be a real build guide or anything. But I, 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 I probably gonna do a real build guide for this. Just yes, if you are interesting. And again, it's not the most viable build, but it is a fun build. That's the most important thing. But maybe it's are possible to make it more viable with better gear. But I don't really know. But what I know, actually, or it is fun to play. As you, I hope you agree with that. And actually, I have really good clear speed. If I can be completely honest, and I have some decent life. The biggest problem is I don't have a much, that much uh, protection against physical damage. So physical damage is really the bane of this character's existence. I'm not playing a really high level. But I actually have played tier 10 maps, and it, it can do it if you're playing carefully. If we can actually take them. I haven't played this character that much after the update, but it, I have did some small changes in the passive skill tree. So, uh, I don't know. But I can't get stunned anymore, so I'm pretty much safe from that. You see, we actually can hurt the boss. If I die, I want to have a problem back here so I can. Yes, I did. That was a little bit scary, but that actually worked. I did do, I do good damage to bosses, so they actually die really quickly. And I have 80%. Uh, see if I actually have time to see my crit chance. Where is it? Oh, I can't find it right now. All right, my crit chance right now without any shots, yes, is 80%. Without any uh, power shots. If I use have one power shot just like this. I have 85% and then I have like uh, 8 power shots, so I am uh, maxed out crit chance when I, have maxed out, when, I, when I have my power shots. So I'm going to pretty much almost guarantee crit everything and when I crit the enemy are dead. Well this is my short video when I'm playing this character, tell me what you think about it and I am probably gonna do a build guide on this one. Yes, because it's a fun build. It's not the most viable build, but it's a fun build. And oh, oh, sorry, I forgot. I need to. I'm just gonna tell you more in depth how it works. Well, this is the basic idea I have for this build. I'm playing as a tempo, and I'm using invisible judgment or whatever it's called. So when I create something, I ignore the resistance, 
and I crit things a lot. And this is this shot, so if I ignore the resistance, the enemy are basically dead. If I have all my shots up. I can pretty much one shot most things. The only, the only I can't one shot are pretty much bosses. And they really need to be a little bit higher level bosses. Like these bosses could take some hits, but they eventually die pretty quickly. And I'm using uh, that, and uh, then you can see my passive skill tree here real quickly. I can see you can see I pretty much focus on getting as many charges as I possibly can get, and power shots are the most important ones. And I get all the power shots I can in passive skill tree, and I have one for helping the bandits. I also try to get some uh, endurance charges. Oh, that, that was French charges and endurance charges here, and I really wish I had more endurance charges. But uh, maybe I can get some gear in during shots. And as you can see, I when I level up, I can take life. And as much life as I possibly can get. I get, I get that life as well. Hopefully I can get even more lives. Because I need more life in this build because I am such a glass cannon. But it's a, it's a fun glass cannon to play. And as you can see, I have no mana whatsoever almost in the past skill tree. I don't have taken deep thoughts or like right to decree it because my setup or uh, I'm using Blood Magic, both my spells, because this shot is an incredibly mana hungry skill, it costs like 200 mana or something when you use it. So I just decided, well, fuck all that mana, I just go for uh, life instead and use my life. Make it a little bit easier. So this is pretty much my idea for it, and my setup, I'm using Life Leech, this shot, increase critical strike damage, and critical strike chance. If I had a fire link, I really want to have either a uh, increase uh, critical strike. Uh, what, what I'm saying? Uh, increase area effect or concentrate effect. Or if I really could, I wish I didn't have to use uh, life Witch, I could just use. Uh, uh, what's it now? Uh, increase uh, area effect and concentrate effect for some absurd damage. And uh, my uh, for getting up my power charges, I'm using Orb of Storms, as you can see right there, which are linked to Blood Medic again. Uh, increase area effect and increase critical strike damage. So yes, when I see a pack, I just put this one up. It creates some enemies, giving me some power charges, and then boom, I can start discharging. So that's the general idea. And uh, the most expensive item I have, I have a Wolf's Devotion. Which are really expensive, but you can use a uh, rare amulet instead if you do go uh, dual curse, and you can do dual curse with help of this amulet here, and uh, this ring here. Sorry. And there are other ways you can get some more power. Uh, French shot, uh, endurance shots. You can use a ring, which gives you endurance shots, which are really cheap to get. But I use sacrificing a lot of defense, and defense is something I really need. Anyway, this was my brief overlook of this character, and again, it's not the most viable character, but it is one of the most fun characters. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and see you guys next time.